वेलकम गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव ऑफ सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस सो लेट इज फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन गिवन अ रियल नंबर ए ग्रेटर देन जीरो कंसिडर द ट्राइंगल विद वर्टिस सो दीज आर द वर्टिस ऑफ योर ट्राइंगल इफ ट्राइंगल इज द गिवन कंटूर क्लॉक वाइज ओरिएंटेशन देन द कंटूर इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस फंक्शन रियल जेड is equal to so these are your options okay so let us firstly draw what is the contour contour that you are given with so let us suppose this is your real axis and this is your imaginary axis okay let us say now you are given with the point 0 okay so this is 0 you are given with a a is a real number which is greater than 0 so it must be somewhere here i will draw like this now the third one a plus a plus a, iota a you can say a comma a okay so this one is your third point you can say this as a comma 0 also okay now this is the contour that you are given with okay so this is your triangle that you are given with now let us name them so let us try let us say you are given with a triangle contour so let us partition it so let us say this one is gamma 1 this one is gamma 2 and this one is gamma 3 okay you need to evaluate what do you need to evaluate you need to evaluate this function real of z what is real of z is actually x okay if you say z is x plus iota y that means real of z is x dz this is what you need to evaluate over this triangle so this thing will be equal to real z dz over gamma 1 real z dz over gamma 2 real z over gamma 3 okay this is what you need to evaluate now see firstly i will show you the definition of complex integration how it's done okay so this is the definition for the complex integration let us say gamma is a piece wise smooth curve and you have to integrate your complex function fz dz over this gamma then it is actually equal to a to the power a a to b integration a to b f of gamma t gamma dash t dt that means what you are doing you are just transforming this to the a parametrized curve you are getting my point you are transforming this contour integral to the real integral or you can say the the integral that you are known with using a contour so this is your contour you need just need to parameterize it and after you parameterize it you can solve this integration okay so what do you think will be the parameterization for this so this is actually the equation of a line which is known as y is equal to 0 so this is y is equal to 0 so that means you can parameterize this thing what you, how can you parameterize you can write this as okay your y is zero here completely therefore what is varying your x is varying so you can represent this as t plus iota zero so this is the parameterization that i am talking about now what is gamma 2 here x is constant x is a, a but your y is varying therefore you can parameterize it like this now let us parameterize gamma 3 for the gamma 3 i will write the parameterization here so gamma 3 is actually the line y is equal to x that means your both coordinates are varying x and y therefore you have to parameterize it like this because this is the line y is equal to x this is the line x is equal to a therefore i am parameterizing like this okay so now see what's so your gamma 1 is actually a function okay now a function a smooth function from 0 a to c and it is given by gamma 1 is equal to t okay okay i am just writing iota 0 i will also write now what is your gamma 2 gamma 2 is actually a function from 0 to a to c and what is gamma 2 gamma 2 is a plus iota t now what is your gamma 3 gamma 3 is actually a function from 0 to a again not from 0 to a actually the directions are reversed you need to use the counter clockwise direction okay that means anti clockwise direction so therefore your gamma 3 will not be from okay will not be from uh 0 to a it will be from a to 0 to c 
and what is this gamma 3 of t is equal to a plus not a plus it will be t plus iota t okay so these are your three parameterized gum that i am talking about now i will use this definition to solve this integration okay this is very easy you can do it yourself now i will evaluate this first one let us say this one is i1 i will keep this definition here for your reference so what will be i1 i will be i1 will be real of z so real of z means what okay i will write this as real of z and then we will say what it is so gamma 1 is from 0 to a therefore you have to just keep using this okay you keep this formula in your mind so f of a gamma t so what is gamma gamma is t plus iota 0 that means the real part you need to consider of it so it will be t and gamma dash t let us differentiate this what will be the differentiation of it it's the differentiation is 1 t dot 1 dt okay this is one this is what your i1 is now let us see what your i2 is okay so i2 will be uh, 0 to a now see you have to take the real part now what is the real part for gamma 2 the real part is a what is gamma dash t gamma dash t is is actually equal to 1 plus iota uh, sorry not 1 plus iota it's actually iota only okay just differentiate it with respect to t what you will get you will get just iota now this will be dt here right now what is your i3 i3 is gamma 3 real of z dz so this will be now it is from where it's from a to 0 so i will write a to 0 now take the real part of it real part is t now what will be the differentiation differentiation will be 1 plus iota so you have to dt here okay now just solve this okay you can solve it, it yourself so after solving this you will get a square by 2 from here okay a square by 2 from here and uh, from here you are getting a square iota and from the third one you are getting okay firstly write this thing as um, you can write or you can directly evaluate okay directly evaluate don't reverse the limit so this thing will be a square by 2 minus a square by 2 iota right so these are your three answers now just add them up to find this one so you're given with real of z over dz and it's a close now just add them a square by 2 a square iota minus a square by 2 minus a square by 2 iota so, okay so these things will be cancelled out so your result will be a square by 2 iota this is what you are looking for so your answer will be second and all other options will be false okay so this is a very easy question from the complex analysis what i have used i am just repeating everything i am summarizing everything i have used this definition of complex integral okay so you are given with this type of contour so firstly you have to divide it into three parts three separate part and then just parameterize them this is nothing for you to parameterize how to parameterize and from where gamma 1 is moving from where gamma 2 is moving this is what you can always figure out yourself okay because you are doing mathematics so something you have to figure out yourself this part you, you can also figure out yourself so this is a very easy question for you just you need to understand this definition how this complex integration over a contour works okay so thank you guys